we're going to take a look at the brachial plexus and again to view all of the nerves make sure you take off all of the muscles off of this model we're going to start right up here where the cords begin and we're going to find an M in the model the M is a little smushed together but here is the M so here again if I trace it to that peak down the center that peak down here that's going to help guide you to find all of the nerves so this first peak right here this is the medial cord the peak over here is the lateral cord then if we take a look at the nerves this nerve right here is the ulnar nerve and we can actually trace this nerve here all the way down and then through here all the way towards the pinky remember the fifth digit or pinky side is your ulnar side and that's exactly where that nerve is headed to the pinky or fifth digit side of the hand so then if we take a look at the middle nerve just like when you're driving in the car the median is in the middle of the road we have the median nerve in the middle of this M so here is the median nerve And then we can also continue tracing it right here. Again, that was the median nerve coming from that center part of the M. Then if we go to the peak of the M over here, this outermost nerve, this is the musculocutaneous nerve. And it starts here and it's going to wind underneath here and continue out this way. So again, musculocutaneous nerve. So just to refresh, this was the medial cord the lateral cord, ulnar nerve, median nerve, and musculocutaneous nerve. Then if we look underneath here, in a cadaver I would be able to pick these nerves up and slide them all over to see the posterior cord, but we can see a little sliver of it up here. So that's the posterior cord, then we can see this nerve coming off of there. This is the thoracodorsal nerve. The other nerve coming off of there in this area is right here. This is going towards the armpit. So this is the axillary nerve. And we can see part of the axillary nerve if we flip the model over over here too. Then one of the nerves that if this was a real cadaver and I could move these nerves around we'd be able to see the radial nerve up here but it's pretty deep. So if we look down here this is the first place we can see the radial nerve right here. And the radial nerve divides into two nerves. We have a deep branch of the radial nerve 
and a superficial branch of the radial nerve. And the deep branch right here, if I flip the model, we can see some more of that deep branch right here.